Okay, we're going to have a look at the fascinating topic of um, gear selector knob on the Evoke. Now, this should be the same across a range of the Range Rover models, but we're in our little Evoke today. Um, now, there's a couple of styling options you can do here. You can actually change this, what they call the topper. There's a leather one and some different finish sort of centre there you can change. Um, and also, they did do... Uh, an autobiography one on the L405, the bigger Range Rover. I don't think they ever did this on the um, Evoque. I don't know if the Victoria Beckham edition had something not stylish sure. or not. But we're going to we're going to try and put this this autobiography style one on here today. So we're going to have a go with that. Okay. So it comes in a little kit. We've got a little tool for squidging the old topper out and a little Torx key. So we're going to have a look at that. Right, um, I reckon I reckon we're going to put it up. I reckon it'll give you more room and less risk of damage and everything. So to get that to come up, we've got to start the engine. And up the old gear selector goes. Now, I think it stays up. So yeah, right, do you want to So yeah, you get the tool. Oh, how's it going? Hold on, press OK. OK, all right, we have to close the doors. Right. So you need to dig in and dig here. down deep. Ian tried it first time. He didn't sort of go, and it just pulled the. T it sort of started to dig into the top of the yeah, you cover. Really, you need to you go really, do, really go as far as it you down. can. It's only a couple of millimeters in. And, and then, then you, when you peel it up the first time, if you can try and get the tool in, it stops it. Sort it of lift, it, it sort of peeling in. or bowing. Yeah, in. you can get the wide Warping, section yeah. in, and lift then the get whole bit up. yeah. And try not to drop it again. No, don't do that. Okay, or do it a third time even. There we go. Right, and what have we got on the inside of that? So it's literally just a flat disc with a load of glob globbed on it. There you go. Right, and then this is the replacement one. So let's just have a quick look. That looks the same. We've got those two sort of slots there. He looks about the same diameter. So let's have a little look, see. Oh, and interestingly, this one comes with a choice of toppers. So we'll have a look at that and which one we decide to fit. So yeah, not too tight. We haven't touched this. We yet. haven't yeah, we haven't done this before. We're making this up. Mm -mm, okay. How easy does that now? Now bear in mind which way it was pointing when it came off. I don't think it makes any difference. But those I think two, you're only going to get it on one way. One way. Ah, oh, he's got a big. Yep. Yep. He's sure enough, he's it. got a key in it. And can we work out? Yeah, you've got like a missing peg here. So you see, you got the peg there, right? Gone out. Do we think we need to transfer the white piece? The white over? piece over, do you reckon? Let's we'll see if it comes out. What's keeping that in? I think There's got to be something. Oh, yeah, you've got it moving there. Just like. There we go. Okay. I think it just grips a bit. Probably the cold metal. And is there does that is there any key on that or is that can that go in any? Obviously you've got your two slots on you it. You have got the you've got these four, four slots, slots on the edge. So let's try try and put it in a wrong way. I think as long as you as long as you it's got four slots. So, so you can, can't it get can it wrong. Go either the way. Any old way. Good. Good. Happy days. All right. And then it does just tighten in at the bottom there. Yeah. It just just yeah. It just pinches in a bit. Yeah. yeah. That seems all good. Right now I've put I've put the I've turned the engine off. Is that going to give you a problem or is that fine? That seems fine. Seems and again, nice. those when it's in park, those what what how many clocks are we talking? Sort of this is the four o'clock position and that's the ten o'clock position. So that's the line that those go across. And what do you reckon that is? Torx T? I'm not sure, but it's supplied with it. With it. Yeah. T20? T20, it looks like T20, T25. Well, you don't need to go berserk with that, do we? Yeah. Right, and then what's the deal with the toppers? So they got 3M tape, 3M tape, and you can just so, pop that on, and that and that, whichever one you should choose. Choose, yeah, you got that. And then if you start it and pop it up again, we can just make sure it's all the way down. 
And make sure of your foot on the brake. Yeah. 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 There we go, that's in the selector. It's all sitting nice and tight. Cool. All right, there we go. Good luck with that. That's how to change the topper or the gear selector knob on the Range Rover Evoque and other models too.